at the polls. Now, interestingly, you do feel more strongly by a different set of allegations, suggestions without real proof, which is that you started a petition to get rid of the special counsel because of your feelings about him when he was FBI director. I know you want to talk to that. Why would you do such a thing to the special counsel who was so applauded as a choice by members of your party? Well, we're learning more and more about Bob Mueller and his conflicts of interest. And these aren't feelings of mine. They're facts, Chris. As early as 2009, the FBI knew that we had a Russian informant with information that Russia was trying to use bribes and kickbacks and extortion to try to undermine the United States' uranium assets. And you can't talk about the 2016 election without talking about the Clinton Foundation. And now we're learning more and more that you can't talk about the Clinton Foundation without looking at the Uranium One deal. Because Bob Mueller was the head of the FBI in 2009 when these allegations, accusations, information was coming forward, I think that either by uh, negligence or by malfeasance, this information didn't come forward to the Congress. It's also noteworthy that Rod Rosenstein was a U.S. attorney, and it was his signature block that ultimately was on the pleadings that sealed the information from this confidential informant, which meant that in 2009 and 2010, the Congress wasn't learning about these efforts by the Russians to uh, undermine our uranium assets, to bribe officials. And I don't think it's a coincidence that at that same time, you had the Clinton Foundation taking millions of dollars from the Russians and Bill Clinton getting paid half a million dollars for a speech. But these are all circumstances that you want to discuss, and I get their political interest, but Rosenstein was appointed by this administration. The special counsel is a lifelong Republican, a man of untarnished record. It seems like you're just trying to push something that would be a little politically expedient to the president, which is get rid of the man who is uh, investigating his campaign. Well, first of all, there are many men and women investigating uh, the president and also investigating the uh, ties from Russia to the 2016 election. I think we've got three investigations going on in the Congress right now, so it's not as if... But they don't Mueller carry criminal purview. They don't, they're very different. They're well, very different. They're very different. And you say and it's a conflict no of interest. To You'd have to have proof. special counsel investigating. What's but, the proof but, of a but conflict? Chris, we have... The reason we don't have the proof is because Rod Rosenstein was working to seal the information. And look, I get that these people are Republicans, but even Republicans can be subject to conflicts of interest. The federal code says that even the appearance of a conflict of interest means that you can't be involved in investigations. And so look, the fact that you've got Mueller and Rosenstein investigating the very facts that they themselves were involved in when Mueller was at the FBI and when Rosenstein was a U.S. attorney. But they're not investigating the uranium one deal. They're not investigating the uranium but one the, deal. But the Uranium One deal is tied to the Clinton Foundation, which is tied to the 2016 election. And the Uranium One deal goes precisely to the very reason why the Russians were trying to influence the 2016 election. They were trying to influence the election as an end unto itself. They wanted to influence the election so that they could obtain strategic outcomes. And there is a witness that was silenced by these very people investigating the, the president committee who's saying report. that the tools that they were using were the tools that we now know uh, are bribery and extortion. But this is, this is all raw speculation. The Intelligence Committee report on Russian interference doesn't mention Uranium One deal as an incentive on any level. And in fact, it doesn't even make sense logically. Congressman, what they wanted to do but was Chris, interfere with the process. What they wanted to be is create some chaos in our democracy, and they uh, wound up achieving their ends all too well, which is why you guys have to investigate it and figure out how to stop but, but it. Th those but those things it seems aren't like mutually you're just... exclusive. The Russians can want to create chaos in the process, but they can also want to undermine our Uranium. Right, but you don't assets. have any proof and just like you pointed out, that with they did Moore, Russian we interference. We learn more and more facts. You want to get we rid have of the special proof counsel. That there was an informant who in 2009 right. was saying that the Russians were trying to bribe people to influence our uranium. And by the way, you had the Clinton Foundation filling out the very de deposit slips, which do serve but as the why would that evidence for those even, bribes. Even if there is something to it, and again, that's your speculation, not mine, why would that disqualify the special counsel in this current investigation about whether or not because members the of, the com of the campaign coordinated efforts with Russian interference?
I just don't Better see it. I mean, as an attorney, as just a thinking of individual, a conflict I don't see it. Demands recusal. Yeah, but, but you the, know appearance the appearance is only to you. I don't see the basis in fact for it. No, That's no, what no. I'm asking you. Well, there are other members of Congress who agree, and we're also seeing more and more that evidence continues to come out. Look, we're just learning that Fusion GPS was meeting with this Russian lawyer the day before and the day after she met with Donald Trump. Junior, that looks like a setup to me. To you, exactly. But the concern is why Donald Jr. and other members of the campaign uh, were so anxious to rush <coughs> in to that meeting and whether or not they were truthful about it all along. Those are the concerns, because that's certainly, on the face of the facts, so you're not wasn't concerned. a solicitation about you're adoption. You're not concerned that Fusion GPS, paid for by the Democratic Party, was meeting with this Russian lawyer the day before and the day after she met with Donald Trump? That doesn't concern you that Democratic uh, opposition political research was being used for these purposes? What I mean, that's deeply what troubling. we got to look into that. What concerns me is an effort to remove a man at the head of investigation for political reasons. That's what would concern me. Bob it's not Mueller political reasons. is it's a lifelong of interest, Republican. He is a decorated do, do veteran. Do you not think Republicans can have conflict of interest? I think that can anyone can have, have conflict one. Of interest? I think that you may be exercising one right now, because in your efforts to appease the president, you might be asking for a move, no, look, the removal of the special counsel and be disruptive to this process, because it doesn't seem like you've got a strong case that the Uranium One deal implicates the special counsel in a way that he cannot be objective and impartial in his he investigation was the of FBI Russian director. <laughs> But you have no he proof that he covered it up. When the Uranium One deal. You have no proof that he covered he it up there. or did <laughs> anything untoward. <clears throat> Look, either by his acts or by his omission, that deal went through as the FBI director. He should have stopped it. He wasn't in charge of whether or not the deal goes through. As the FBI director? It was yeah. a multi-agency process, yeah, but that's it, what the Democrats but it, say. But there were nine different agencies that had to say <coughs> yes. I mean, the whole case that you guys make yeah, is that Clinton made it happen. Have said no. They that's didn't. obviously not true. Right? She was just one of many no. different levels of acceptance about this. You don't have to like the Uranium One deal. You don't the, have to like the bribing, the, but to the say Mueller was don't behind have tentacles it? in a variety of agencies? No, into on, Bob Mueller? That, you, that you think Mueller is under that. Clinton's sway? I mean, this is the stuff for a blog, not oh, well, a congressman. Hey, listen, I don't know if he's under Clinton's sway. I do know that Bob Mueller was there at the FBI. He should have spoken up about the Uranium One deal. They were essentially bribing the Clinton Foundation to get it done, and that should necessitate his recusal. All right. Thank you for making the case, Congressman. Appreciate you taking the time on New Day.